Longtime South Florida gay rights advocate and publisher Norm Kent dead at 73. Fearless crusader, storyteller with a gift of gab and a whole lot of chutzpah, defender of the underdog, a lover of dogs and baseball, this is the, the description of Norm Kent, a native New Yorker who waged battle in the courtroom and on the front lines of gay rights and cannabis law. Kent died on Thursday at age 73, three weeks, three weeks after entering hospice care at his longtime home in Fort Lauderdale's Victoria Park after a two-year battle with cancer. The fedora-wearing man who loved the limelight was king of the hill when it came to taking on the lost causes as no one else would and winning. The Brooklyn-born Kent wore many hats, criminal defense attorney, radio talk show host, billed as Storm and Norman on WFTL from 1989 to 1992, and past chairperson of the board of directors at the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. A fierce advocate for gay rights, Kent has frequently appeared as a commentator on CNN and Fox News. Kent has served as publisher of South Florida Gay News, a weekly LGBTQ plus newspaper launched in 2009. Before that, he published Express Gay News from 1999 to 2003 before selling the paper to a conglomerate. Kent, who beat lymphoma 20 years ago, tackled his health issues with honesty, bravery, and a sense of humor. He will be missed. Mm. Uh, Norm Kent was a kind of controversial figure mm. in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. which made him all the more lovable <laughs> because he he held back nothing and he just went for whatever he felt needed to be presented to people. He was, you know, he was a journalist and he felt like that was his duty and that was his life's calling. Yeah. Mm. And with also with that in mind, I just feel like the last three years we've lost so many icons and he's just a, a yet another one on our li long list. And 73 is not old people. No, it's no. not. It really isn't. So it's really sad. But he's got an incredible legacy, oh, Dale. Totally, you know, totally. I mean, just like exactly like what you said, like what if he had an opinion, you were going to hear it. And if he heard about a news story, even if it pissed off some people, he was going to put it on the front page of SFGN. And that's the kind of cojones that I love in gay boys, you know, right. and that is what he had. Um, I, I only recently got to meet him and 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 like just experience his character and his way of being. And he made you feel seen. He made you feel smarter by having a conversation with him because there was always something that that you can learn from something that he knew. He just knew like a million pieces of useless and, and useful information, you know, that kind of a person. So I think he's got an incredible legacy in my heart and mine goes to all the people that, that have lost such an incredible person. I also send love going out to one of our anchors, John Hayden, who also works over our SFGN and um, held Mr. Kent as a mentor. So, um, you know, he definitely will be missed. Yeah, the other thing about Norm is that he was an attorney. So I remember when I was a wee young attorney coming up, he was, he, a lot of his business focused on helping the gay guys that got arrested in Holiday Park for being in the bathroom, um, you know, having sex, whatever, tricking. But he <laughs> always represented the guys. And if they couldn't afford it, he would take care Aww. of them. He always, pro bono kind he, of thing. yeah, yeah. I mean, if they had the money, he'd pay, he had an office of to run, you know. But so he always was with the underdog. He did that. And um, I forget, he was just always there fighting for our rights before he was a journalist. Oh, he sued the sheriff of Broward County, Nick Navarro, in the 80s. That was like a oh, big wow. thing when Nick was like being a little DeSantis type uh -huh. person. Wow. And you went to the yeah. memorial service held for Norm, Norm this today. morning. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, it was at the at the manor. And, How uh, perfect is that? Like, I want a memorial service at the manor, okay? If I pass, folks, Party space, right? Yeah. right? Seriously, all right? Scott Holland, make it happen. I mean, how right. perfect is that, though? Like, in a place where you've probably partied and had a wonderful time, that's where people get to acknowledge and, and say what a great person you are, yeah. you know? Just a generous guy, too. The other thing was the guy that, he li that lives with him, I don't know if they got married or not. He met him, like, 23 years ago, and he said, I was homeless, I was living under the bridge, and Norm came to me and was like, here's my keys whenever you want. And then the guy came like a week later or something in a rainstorm at two in the morning. Norm had him in and he's been there ever since. Wow. wow. That's yeah. like an episode of The Last of Us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.